really, really loved seeing this performer week after week um, and getting to know him as well. Um, I'll tell you, because there's a handful of new folks tonight, but this performer is a retired firefighter, um, a New York City firefighter. Um, yeah, which is pretty remarkable, and we're lucky to have him in Colorado at this here open mic. Um, but it's been so wonderful getting to uh, hear poetry from this performer, as well as his songs, which are true, um, incredible folk songs. He put out an album. You can find his music under Richard Naviaski. Um, and... I don't know. I just have high praises for you, and I'm excited to continue to listen to your music even beyond this open mic. But um, yes, put your hands together for Rich. That's right, I got the coolest shirt in town here. I got the uh, the Sparky original t-shirt. So, anyway, yeah, like uh, Meg said, my name's Richard Naviaski. Uh, I just wanted to also real quick say, you know, a big thank you to Meg, because I know we all got a ton of gratitude for her, you know, and I know myself, she's like, uh, like a real instrumental part in how I found my, uh, kind of my comfort zone, actually getting up on a stage and, you know, trying to, trying to sing and stuff, you know. So, anyways, here I go. I always start with a couple of these poems and then a couple of those songs. These are my poem glasses. All right. The Echo. I remember the wild-eyed thrill of running through backyards while the late evening dusk fell deeper toward darkness and other kids chased, screaming, here, here. The echo of that joy still rebounds through me. And although it comes fainter with each passing age, on occasion the echo reamplifies unexpectedly, pushed by a simple reminder, like walking outside in a windstorm or a look on my own child's face. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> the reason. I yelled at my children for yelling at each other, and when they yelled back, I yelled even louder. But then, breathing like a bull, a thought crashed into my head. I am the reason. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I want more here. If I were to write a poem now. If I were to write a poem now, it would be an open letter to all people everywhere, and it would say simply, be as close to your best self as you possibly can without causing damage. Thank you. All right, I got a couple songs. I was trying to pick out a couple, you know, that actually sound good because I know it's Meg's, so. not her last night, but her last regular night, we'll call it. So this one's called Summer Turns to Fall. It's, a, it's like a long-term love story. My pretty little lady and she's sitting next to me Holding my hand as gentle as can be While we watch a new show on our color TV And think about nothing at all While the summer turns to fall All the buds of life on the branches in the spring Make my little lady blush Cause she knows I'm thinking about them Buds of life, we will practice making all the spring and summer long. And while the summer turns to fall, she says she loves me in every weather, and it turns her on growing old together. Be 
Even in the winter when it rains and it snows And my little lady's wrapped in seven layers of clothes I hold her warm hand and she smiles cause she knows That spring will be coming along And then the summer turns to fall says she loves me in every weather and it turns her on growing old together I've got my pretty little lady and she's sitting next to me holding my hand as gentle as can be while we watch a new show on our color TV and think about nothing at all while the summer turns to fall. Thank you. I wrote a lot of love songs. This one's not a love song though. This one's a kind of a, uh, a chasing and not catching song. It's called Shaking Like a Leaf. I was shaking like a leaf, now I'm falling from a tree. I walked right up to her and then she walked away from me. So I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Then I went running down the street, waving both my arms in the air. Yeah, I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Then I went running without knowing if I was going anywhere. All the hairs that stood up on my neck went crawling down my skin. When I looked into her eyes, but she wouldn't let me in. So I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Then I went running down the street, waving both my arms in the air. Yeah, I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Then I woke up in a gutter wearing just my underwear. Every time I circled round her, I could only find her back. It made me start to wish for a stroke or heart attack. So I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Then I went running down the street, waving both my arms in the air. Yeah, I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Now I can't find my jeans or my heart or wallet anywhere. Yeah, I got too high for living, feeling way too low to care. Now I'm lying in a gutter and I wonder if she'll bear to leave me there. Thank you very much. Let's keep it going for Rich, everybody. Yeah.